Wembley Soweto is a project that came about completely by default a couple of years ago when we realised that um, there weren't many photographers on the ground in Johannesburg were getting paid for what they did. So we decided to set up a training scheme whereby we could teach um, a few photographers from Soweto and the surrounding townships of Johannesburg how to feed a family with your camera. So John Cole, um, who's a legendary international photographer, and me, who knows nothing about photography but occasionally teaches film, went into uh, Johannesburg with Amuzi Photo Club, who are a Johannesburg-based uh, Saturday morning photo club, and, um, and taught some, uh, some young people how to, uh, how to feed a family with their camera, expecting them to maybe, you know, take a few wedding photographs or become portrait picture takers for passports or whatever. And um, it turned out that they've all managed to go ahead and do that. In fact, this very day, I found out that one of the photographers uh, has been awarded a scholarship to the best photographic school in Johannesburg with um, lots of university graduates and what have you. And he's uh, from Hillbrow, which is a pretty rough area of Johannesburg. And um, with any luck, in a year's time, that means he will become a photojournalist on probably the Johannesburg Star newspaper. So we've gone from kids who've never really touched an SLR camera to people who are now going to make a living and document the life of their community. So that's what it's all about. With kids, you've always got to prove what you're on about is vaguely interesting. And I love it because they'll sit there and they're the hardest audience in the world, but once they start to re react to the project as it's either happened or is happening, the satisfaction that you get is enormous and it always, it always reinvigorates me because it always makes me think, and oh, we are onto a good thing here. We are fundamentally doing something that's exciting and, uh, and challenging. And um, so watching them listen to this sort of strange story about two guys going over to the townships of Africa and teaching kids who had never seen a camera before to now actually go out and take pictures for the United Nations. Um, it was fabulous and the feedback was terrific and, um, and we're hoping to work with them more than anything, you know, to work with these kids from this community um, to document maybe stuff that's going on around where they live that is in some way comparable with the, um, with the photographs that we've got all around this church. Well, what I think is most exciting is that um, more kids who probably wouldn't have ever had the chance to pick up a camera and be taught by a professional to, to, to take pictures that not only are you know, satisfying for them to look at, but for other people to look at the work that they've done. That's the most exciting thing it always is. Um, it's always great to see somebody's innate artistic talent come to the fore, um, you know, in situations especially over here where, you know, they might not get that chance ordinarily and they might not have the confidence ordinarily to, to do something like that. So that's what I'm most looking forward to um, and what we're doing, the way in which we're trying to do that, is by exhibiting the photographs in a number of cities around the UK and using that as the, the catalyst, if you like, using that as the focus from which to go out into the community and, and, and teach uh, probably young disadvantaged kids who wouldn't normally get the chance to work with a professional photographer and use a, an SLR camera to go out and maybe document what's going on in their community. Um, so uh, that's what I'm really looking forward to and of course it all ties up with not only when we did Soweto being a project that was set with the backdrop of the World Cup but also now we move on to the Olympic photography project which is set with the backdrop of the Olympics in, uh, in London 2012 and we will be able to exhibit not only Wembley to Soweto, the South African photographs in London when we uh, come to the games in July, but we'll also be able to exhibit the work of the kids from Brighton and from Blackpool and from Carlisle and from Manchester and wherever else um, alongside our South African photographs as well. So I think that the idea that you know people can go into their home city and have a look at an exhibition of some photographs on a wall of a country 10,000 kilometres away and think we can do something similar to that and we can chart a journey going on in our community towards a big sporting event in our country um, is a very simple idea and uh, could lead to some extraordinary photographs being taken. I mean, why is it just so vital that these kind of projects continue to get funded and continue to get people's support? Uh, well, I would say initially go and ask the kids who've been on the projects. 
They're the people that will tell you the real answer. They're the ones that have gone out, taken the photographs, gleaned the confidence that it's given them to actually go up to strangers and say, can I take your photograph? Learn how to work as a group, how to interact as a team, gone to places they probably never have got the opportunity to go to. So it's not just about framing photographs and taking photographs. It's actually about learning life skills and confidence and, uh, and uh, working with your, you know, your, your, your contemporaries. And I would say that you know, there's absolutely no substitute for that anyway, whatever you're doing. So give us your money, folks, for that reason. But also the end product, as you can see around you, is pretty extraordinary. The fact that we took a bunch of kids with, photo with um, cameras in the townships of Johannesburg uh, and work with them for four weeks and now their photographs are going to grace the walls of buildings all across the UK is testament into in itself to the use of what they're doing. At the end of the day, you're going to have British people, or people from all over the world, looking at their photographs in the great cities of the United Kingdom for the next six months hopefully looking at a photograph looking at a piece of art you know one of the same thing what does it say to you what does it do for you does it make you feel happy does it make you feel sad it changes your emotions in some way or another what a wonderful thing to actually happen to you on a day and you, know, you can go into a gallery or a school or in this instance a church and go that actually says something to me about my life that's why you've got to give us the cash so that we can go and teach more kids to do exactly the same thing so that the whole thing rolls on. And whether these kids end up being photographers or butchers or bakers or candlestick makers, it doesn't make any difference. It's what it imbues them with as people. And that's what excites me about the whole thing. And that's why I think that I know it's a time of austerity, but at the end of the day, I'm a filmmaker, that's my job. That's a really expensive business you know how much it costs to put cameras that move on stuff. Cameras that don't move in front of people's faces clicking away ain't the most expensive thing in the world. And for young people who might go on to become filmmakers, who might go on to become artists, might on, you know, work in the visual arts in another medium, but just to start off simply with a camera, with eight or nine colleagues, what a great way of learning not only life skills, but how to say, I did that. Watch YouTube, watch the DVDs that are up on the website, give us a call, send us an email. You know, if you want to get involved, send us an email. We'll tell you where it's coming to next, how you can get involved. There's normally going to be a council course being run either with John Cole as the photographer or a local experienced professional photographer running courses. So, um, yeah, just go through any of those means of uh, communication and you'll be able to find out where it's coming to near you and how you can get involved.